Yeah, good morning. I'm on my way to the subway because I need to go to Heathrow Airport. It's going to take me around an hour. So, I need to sort of manage my backpack, my luggage, and the camera. So, it's going to be fun. I'm gonna get asked now some security questions, so let's go. No. Okay. <laughs> so it's 16 kilos, I think it's 23 is allowed, right? Yeah, yeah cool. We're in the check-in area now, so waiting to get my baggage through security. Wow, well, so we made it through a check, check, check out, <laughs> check, security check. And if you can see this, it's 7.46, which means I've got exactly two hours until my flight is departing. And that's the cool thing. Wow, Heathrow is fucking big, man. Let me show you. First of all, Christmas tree. Yeah. Let's not forget that. So that's has two floors. Now let me show you like a panorama view if you can see this. So start here. And then what do we have here? Like a cafe. Oh, it's a shame not to eat actually. <laughs> I don't know, downstairs. Wow, they've got a Harrods here. Holy effing hell. I was not about to swear anymore, man. So, Yumi Sushi. I just need a nice coffee. Where do we get that from? There you go. I just got a black coffee. Sad, isn't it? Because I've got so much nice stuff over there to eat. But... To log into the airport Wi Fi now. Because my next uh, video is out and I need to uh, upload it or make it live, let's say, so you guys can see something. Let's test the coffee first if the coffee is worth going here. Uh, not really. <laughs> for so many years. It's always nice to come back. I need to go all the way down there. It would have been easier to actually take the elevator, but no, I'm on the escalator, so let's do this. Oh my god, I'm standing here, and there's like this massive crowd, and it's actually an auction, because people leave their luggage. So she's just auctioning a ring. Someone left a ring for five euros or something. So people are queuing up to get like a bargain. These bitches. <laughs> yeah, loads. This is cool. I just 
now and check out how to get to the hotel. So, oh, I know. I know the freaking way. So let's go. What's interesting is when you come back to place, and I talked about that before, that you you sort of felt like I'm super old, but I'm older than most of you guys, uh, like 36 years old. I mean, I lived quite some time already. <laughs> Sounds very dramatic, right? But what I'm trying to say is, for example, there's Vapiano, right? And on the opposite side, I'm not sure if we're going to see that, there's some stairs. So when I founded my first business, and that was 2000, that was even before 2000, there's a staircase where I took a picture with my business partner, and we used that as our profile picture. And I, I just looked at these stairs when I was driving in the tram. I was like, holy fuck, this is like really going back in time. Like when people say in films, you know, they go into the future or look look back or something like that. It's such a weird feeling somehow because you moved on in life. Now I'm doing something different. Obviously, it's it's nice, everything with, with history and so on. Not everything, but most of it. And this Vapiano place is where I had dinner a couple of times. So Vapiano was something at the time when I was working, I wasn't earning that much money. So going to Vapiano was always like, ooh. <laughs> Papiano isn't, isn't like a high-class thingy, right? But for me at that time it was. Anyway, I'll check in with you once I'm uh, at the hotel. All right, guys, I arrived in my hotel room. Let me show you. There we go. It's quite nice and stylish. Bathroom, bathtub. It's quite big, actually. Oh, look at this. This is a... Oh, this is where the coffee and stuff is. Nice. Got a seating area, like a desk area to work from. And I'm glad it's not looking out to anywhere else, which means this is gonna be nice and quiet. And then, look at this. How does that work? Ta da Bedroom in the house. So, actually, this is quite big. This is a quite big uh, room for one person, yeah? But, yeah, that's all right for me. <laughs> And now, a friend of mine, Felix again, you guys know him because he has been here now for, not here, on the podcast. On the thingy, he sent me something, so let's do some unpacking. The problem is in Germany that when you order something from Amazon, it's hard to send it to a different country if you don't live there. So that's why, don't mind me opening this because I don't have a knife or anything. It seems to be something like a new trend thing going on. Felix, what is this? What the hell is this? Let's have a look. Ah, a reusable cup, not disposable coffee cup. So someone knows I like coffee, which is great. So let's see, what is this? So you basically, it's just a normal cup. You put it in, it clicks in here, does it? And this is safe, Felix? You don't gotta spill anything? Ah, it clicks open and then you, there you go. Very nice and convenient for my traveling. You know, you know, you know, you know. There we go again. Every time I say you know, I need to have slapping attack in my face. Thank you, Felix, for that. I'm actually gonna unpack. I don't know where I'm gonna put my stuff. I don't know if I need two beds. Who knows? <laughs> Just a joke. I'm gonna put my my stuff somewhere. They must have a wardrobe. But what I don't understand is, if you have a, a sofa and everything, looking to the wall, what is that good for? This P, this PC, this TV should stand somewhere over here. I don't know, the architect was drunk or something. Anyway, let's get unpacked and then I'm gonna go to the gym and check that out because I actually wanna work out. shower yeah I did like everything everything I could think of with um, 
weights I did this way. The <laughs> thing is I walk, oh this is really cool. Basically the gym is very very close to my, my room. Pop the cardin. Why is the loo still running? There you go, just need to shout at it and then it stops. We're gonna try this coffee machine now and the new coffee mug from Felix. So let's try it out. All right, so I figured out how this thing works. The funny thing is they have two electric elements and it goes into this, you know, what, I, what I'm trying to say is that it wasn't plugged in. <laughs> so I was like, why is the coffee machine not working? But then you need to put in some water as well. So we need to first, yeah. Well, that's, that's great, isn't it? They make you buy buy the water, but of course in this house, see, this one is free, this water, because we're going to use it for the coffee. I don't like using any other water than, so just, that should be enough for, for what our plan is. Let's go back to the coffee machine. This room is so freaking big. I just do cardio walking here around all day. Okay. So, what I wanted to show you was they have ristretto, which is like a very, very short espresso. This is decaffeinated, we don't want that. We want this one, it's blue. So you just... <laughs> well, that's not how you do it. So you, you try to put it in here like that. Yeah, and then you load it like that. Then you take a cup and, well, it's quite self-explanatory. This one is a big one, this one is a small one. So we take the big one. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Go on, coffee machine, do it. <laughs> that be a bit weird sometimes on camera, you know? Get the views up. Or maybe less views. What the fuck is this? Do you have to press it again, maybe? Ah, you can press it twice. But these bullets are very small, so I, I assume... Let's break it off. Stop. Because now when you open it, you can hear it. See, it fell down. Okay, ultimate test. Oh, smells good. Yeah, it's actually best coffee I had in Germany. Because the one at the, was that in Germany actually? When I was at the airport, uh, where was it? In, yeah, in Heathrow. I had this coffee, this big one I showed you. That tastes like shit. I don't know what they did, but that didn't taste like coffee at all. Um, and then in the airplane I had another one and I think that's like the, you know, they don't really brew it themselves. I'm, I'm just charging my phone here with this wall charger. And what I'm going to show you is, so I don't have a, so I've got this mechanism going on here and then goes into here, charging my phone. And this green lamp has to be on, otherwise it's not charging. All these interesting things, right? So I'm going to have a shower now, get ready, and then I'm going to meet my friend, we're gonna to go to the Christmas market and that's what I need to show you because the German Christmas market is legendary. And I didn't eat anything today and I'm not gonna eat anything because I know when I go to the Christmas market, I'm gonna go nuts. Nuts, insane. I'm definitely gonna have Glühwein, which is like mold wine. You know, the thing is I'm not gonna hold back because I'm in freaking Germany and it's just over the weekend. I mean, I have a photo shoot on Tuesday, but I have to work out a bit more. <laughs> That's just how it is. It's the 80-20 rule, guys. 80% of the time, be good. 20%, just do shit. Just do whatever you want. You, you never heard that I said that, okay? Just wipe it out of your brain right now. Yeah, presidential suite. This is like a full one. This is massive. Nice, very nice. All right, I'm back in the tavern. We're gonna go out now and have some food. What I actually didn't realize is this is super high profile. Like eight list celebrities in Germany, soccer stars, media entertainment. And because I know the, I'm friends with the organizer and for a very, very long time for now. So I said, I'm gonna come over and help you out because she needs some help to, you know, take care of her very, very high profile sort of clientele. And I'm happy to do that because I'm a natural born, what am I? I don't even know. 
<laughs> I'm good with people that say that way, so I'm, I'm happy to help her out and take care of her side of things so she can really focus on what she has to do in this event. And um, Felix, another friend of mine, or a really, really good friend of hers is here as well, so we're all gonna have a really, really good time tomorrow. I'm looking forward to that. I'm gonna take the camera with me because I'm not sure what I can film today, but tomorrow I'm gonna try to get some more really, really exciting shots in from the actual event. Um, you've seen the event space just now. It's nothing compared to what it will be when everything's on fire, so. Yeah, I know this is a bit longer vlog, but I hope you guys enjoy this stuff. All right, so let's get started. I had some chocolate, by the way. Yeah, so we went to Bon Ami, which is really, really nice. And I had actually more food than I expected. I drank some <laughs> wine as well. But you know, this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. It's not like being always 100%. Make sure you're 80% of the time you're fine and 20% you let loose. And now we're going to the Christmas market, the German Christmas market, which is super famous. So I can't wait to show you guys.